fight myself. I am Tissue Controversy. This is Tissue Controversy Live for the IBF 160 pound title. You're going to have Hassan Indom versus David Lemieux. If you don't know who David Lemieux is, he is French Canadian, powerful pressure fighter, 160 pounder. Once he get into the ring, he looks a lot bigger than a 160 pounder, even though he's a little worn. I would say he's about five foot eight, five foot nine. But overall, he's a beast. But here's the thing. This is a beast who has been not only beaten by decision, majority decision, but he has also been stopped because, well, he comes out at you like a bat out of hell. Now, I've wanted to see him go 12 rounds, and he went long enough with Gabriel Rosado to make me think that maybe he wouldn't have such a, a tough time going 12 rounds against an actual good fighter or a fighter who has been down multiple times. And if you don't remember how many times Peter Quillen was putting him down and he kept getting up, then you don't know who Hassan Indom is. Now, here's the thing. We know that they're fighting for Jermaine Taylor's stripped IBF 160-pound title. He was going to have to fight one of these guys anyway. I would have loved to see Jermaine Taylor versus David Lemieux. I know people are going to say, oh my God, you know, he would have gave Jermaine Taylor more da more brain damage. But at the same time, let me catch my breath. Tissue Controversy, Tissue Controversy Live with RealCombatMedia.com. And I cover every single major fight live. 158.6 for um, Hassan Indom. He even took a drink of water before he got on the scales. He's comfortable. Right at the 160-pound mark for David Lemieux. Please subscribe. Indom is 31 and 118 KOs. Um, if I'm correct, he's won five straight fights since um, losing to, to Peter Quillen. And David Lemieux is 33, two, 33 and 2 with uh, 31 KOs. His last loss was to get to fight by the name of uh, Joe Kim Alcine, who was doing, put it this way, David Lemieux got beat disrespectfully to the point where you had uh, Alcine winding up on him while he was in the corner. To whereas in his first knockout was against, well, stoppage was against Marco Antonio Rubio, and we saw what Golovkin did to Rubio. But my question is this, I would love to see the winner of this fight fight Gennady Golovkin, because at this point in time, Golovkin is not going to have anybody to fight in the fall, unless he fights maybe a Toriano Johnson or Harley Highland, but this is a chance for him to fight the winner of this and get closer to doing what he says he's going to do since he's not moving up to 168 pounds. And that's get closer to unifying the division and becoming an undisputed champion. Anyway, if you don't know, this fight is promoted by um, Golden Boy Promotions, and I forgot who promotes um, Indom. But if you don't know, David Lemieux is a Golden Boy fighter now, and they got a big, big money fighter right there because, well, we don't know money yet, but we do know hardcore fans like myself would love to see David Lemieux versus a Golovkin or, or a Canelo, and of course I'm not going to name the 160 pounders under Heyman's, you know, because uh, maybe a Peter Quillen, I mean not a Peter Quillen, maybe Andy Lee, or the winner of Andy Lee versus Billy Joe Saunders, Kiss Your Big Jr. Like I said, whoever wins this fight, um, there's a lot that they can do. So let me get on to the rest of the videos I have to do today, and I'm going to say I'm Teach Street Controversy. This is Teach Street Controversy Live, realcombatmedia.com. And I'm just trying to stay out the funk. Please subscribe.